What's the difference between extreme ownership and self-blame? Self-blame and extreme ownership may seem similar on the surface, and in fact, I get a lot of clients confusing them, but they are fundamentally different in their approach to personal responsibility and the resulting impact on your mindset and on your actions. Self-blame involves holding oneself responsible for all the negative outcomes and feeling guilty about them. And that mindset often leads to feelings of shame and worthlessness and powerlessness, and it very much hinders your personal growth and development. It's counterproductive because it focuses on your past mistakes and perceived failures, preventing you from taking meaningful action from improving your situation. Now, on the other hand, extreme ownership, which is a concept popularized by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, is a constructive and empowering mindset. It involves taking full responsibility for all aspects of your life, recognizing that you have control over your choices and your actions, and using this understanding to drive positive change. Now, this approach encourages personal growth, learning from mistakes, and continuous improvement. So imagine you're a captain of a ship navigating through a stormy sea. Blame is focusing on the storm, the waves crashing against the ship, the damage that you sustained. You become consumed by guilt and regret, thinking that the storm was all your fault. Why did I set sail in this storm? That mindset leaves you feeling overwhelmed, powerless, and unable to make effective decisions. And as a result, the ship continues to drift aimlessly, just battered by the storm with no clear direction or hope for improvement. Extreme ownership, on the other hand, is like acknowledging that while the storm might not be your fault, it is your responsibility to navigate the ship through the storm. And as a captain, you recognize the need to take charge. You recognize the need to learn from the current situation, to make the necessary adjustments, to steer the ship towards calmer waters. So instead of dwelling on the storm and the damage, you focus on solutions, actions that can improve the situation. And that mindset empowers you to lead your crew, adapt to challenges, and ultimately reach your destination safely. Now in this analogy, the storm represents life's challenges and setbacks, and the ship symbolizes your personal journey. Extreme ownership enables you to take control in any situation, learn from adversity, and chart a course towards growth and success, while self-blame just leaves you stranded in the storm, unable to move forward, sinking. To stay in the realm of extreme ownership without slipping into self-blame, consider the following strategies. Focus on growth and learning. When you're faced with a challenging situation, instead of dwelling on your mistakes and feeling guilty, ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I use this to improve in the future? That shifts the focus from blame to growth. Embrace failures as a learning opportunity. Understand that failure is a natural part of life and an opportunity to learn and grow. Accept that mistakes are gonna happen. Use them as a means to refine your skills, refine your decision-making process. Develop a problem-solving mindset. Rather than blaming yourself for the problems, focus on identifying solutions or partial solutions and take proactive steps to address them. That helps you stay in a positive and empowered place. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself when you make mistakes and face setbacks. Treat yourself like you would treat a good friend in the same situation, just offering support and understanding. And of course, set clear goals and take massive action. Extreme ownership involves taking control of your actions, working towards your goals. Even if you can't control 99% of things, let's focus on the 1% that we can control. Surround yourself with a support community. Engage with other people who are also practicing extreme ownership and providing constructive feedback and encouragement because that helps you reinforce the mindset and keep you accountable. Reflect on your accomplishments. Take time to acknowledge that you've done great things. Appreciate that, the big stuff and the small stuff. That's gonna help you maintain a positive outlook and stay focused on your goals. If you apply those strategies, you can foster a mindset of extreme ownership that enables you to take responsibility for your actions and decisions and avoid the trap of self-blame. And that approach is gonna empower you to make positive changes and learn from your experience and continuously grow and improve. <laughs>